Hey everybody, this is John from Code Planet, back with another video about HappyJS. <clears throat> we got a, a write-in request on YouTube uh, to see how we'd integrate HappyJS with a database. Uh, so today's video is going to be integrating a HappyJS app uh, with MySQL. Uh, and I figured we could kind of go through the entire process together. Um, so the one thing that makes this a little bit different, difficult or different than the other videos is that in this case MySQL itself, the actual application, is outside the realm of Node. So it's not something that we can just npm install um, and then put in our package JSON and have ready to go. So I guess this is kind of like a two-part thing. One, we need to install MySQL and then we need to wire it up with the Node MySQL library. So to install MySQL, um, there's a lot of different ways to do it. I'm not really going to cover it in this tutorial, but if you happen to be uh, on a Mac, I would recommend getting Homebrew if you don't already have it. And Homebrew is like a package manager uh, for OS X. And so like if you're on a Linux machine like Ubuntu or something like that, you could just run apt-get install MySQL and it would go. Mac doesn't really come with something like that. So you can download uh, Homebrew and install it with just this one command. So just copy this and run it in your terminal. It'll install Homebrew and then you can just type brew install MySQL. Um, and so if we come over here to the terminal, after you've kind of done that, you should be able to, you know, if you did it with homebrew, you can do a brew list and look for MySQL. Uh, and you should be able to see it there. Uh, however you've done it, you should be able to just run the MySQL command uh, and have this kind of prompt show up here. And so uh, for my specific setup that I have for today, I've got MySQL set up with the username of root and no password. Uh, and the host will always default to localhost. Um, so we're going to be using root here as the username, localhost as the host name, and no password. Um, so I guess maybe we can jump a little bit out of order here and build the basic happy app, and then we'll connect it up with MySQL. Um, so this is going to be pretty similar to the introduction one we did, so we'll move a little bit quickly. Uh, so I'll make a directory called uh, happy MySQL, and we'll see the end of there. I'll do the npm init just to generate that uh, package.json file. You can fill this out if you're making an actual app out of it. I'm just going to hit enter a bunch so it goes quickly. Uh, and I'll say, yep, that's okay. So now we just have this package.json, which allows us to start saving our dependencies. So I'll do npm install happy, dash dash save. And while that's going, I'm also just going to do an install on my SQL because I know I'm going to need that in a little bit. Uh, so I guess I might as well just, just kind of do it now. Um, so I'll do npm install mysql dash dash save as well. Um, okay, so that's going to run, and then now that it's done, we have, if we look in our package.json, we have on uh, lines 12 and 13, happy as a dependency, and mysql as a dependency. So let's go ahead and let's build our index.js, or server.js, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do, we're going to ignore mysql, and we're just going to build a really basic happy app. So uh, happy equals, and we'll just go ahead and require the package. Uh, and then we'll come down here, very much like last time, and we'll start a new server and save it into this uh, server variable. Uh, and then we'll connect that server, so server.connection, and then you can kind of pick whatever port you want. I'm just going to put it on 3000. Um, okay, so we've got that. Uh, and then, I guess the only other things we need, we need to start it. And that takes a function. Uh, and then you can just, like, if you want, like, console log or something like that, you know, like, let the user know server is running. Uh, cool, we'll go ahead and close that out. And then the last thing we need is just a basic route to get started. So we'll do a server.route. Uh, this takes an object, not a function. And so we've got like our method, and we'll set that to get. Then we've got our path, and we'll set that just to the slash, the root path for now. Uh, and then we've got our handler, and that takes a function. And that has like its request and reply. So just to like test, see how things are going so far, we can just do a reply like it is working. Uh, cool, and that should be good. Let's see if we messed anything up so far. So I'm going to run that with no dot, and I'm going to come over here to uh, my web browser, and I'm going to open up localhost 3000. It is working. Great. Okay, so with that, I'm going to close out happy.js here. We kind of covered that. I'm going to close out homebrew. This is brew.sh for anybody that's interested in installing it. Uh, I use it to manage most of my packages on Mac, so I definitely recommend it. Um, and we're going to leave this MySQL package uh, open, and we've got this going. So that's really good. So I guess jumping back again, so we've got this basic happy app, and it's all working. 
And what we want to do is we want to connect it up to a database so we can like, read and write some data and keep it stored. Uh, but before we do that, uh, we have to create a database. Uh, in general, I would recommend, especially if you're getting started with this stuff, to download something like, I think it's called like SQL Pro for Mac. Uh, these like really nice, yeah, here it is, these nice UIs. Uh, and you can use these to connect. So you would like download this, it's free. And then you would put in your credentials, which would be like your host name is localhost, your username is root, no password, or whatever you set up. Um, and then you can really visualize what's going on here. I'm going to stick to the terminal for now, but if that's getting a little bit confusing for anybody, I would definitely recommend grabbing SQL Pro. So I'm going to go back over here to the terminal. I'm going to close out our Node app, and I'm going to run my SQL uh, U root, and that'll do the default uh, host name, as I mentioned earlier. So we're in here now, and you can start running these commands. Like we could do like show databases. And it'll show like just these like little apps that I've built locally before. So like a WordPress one, um, information schema is default part of my SQL, as is performance schema, as is the MySQL database. So it's really just this like conference thing and a WordPress thing. So what we want to do is we want to make a new database. Um, actually, I think you can do uh, in the terminal, just do help colon. Yeah. So you can do help colon and it'll give you like this kind of great list of different things you can do. Uh, they also, MySQL has really good docs online, but if you don't like doing all this terminal stuff, SQL Pro has like buttons you can click, like create a new one and you fill out a form. It's really nice. So we're just going to do this a little bit old school for now. So I'm going to create a database and I'll, let's call it happy or something like that. So now when I do show databases, uh, we can see happy down there. Um, and so I guess the next thing we need to do is we need to move into that database. You can see like right now we're on the outside of all these. So you can do a use happy. Uh, and now we're inside happy. But now like data, each database is made up of tables, right? And we don't have any tables yet. So let's say we're going to do something like, I don't know, like we'll create a table uh, and we'll call it like people or something like that. A little contrived, but it should be good for an example. Uh, and then inside that people database, we'll have like maybe two columns or something. Uh, so I guess we could have like, you know, your ID and that would be like an integer. Uh, and then we could have like your name and that would be a variable character or var char. Um, again, with all this stuff, like if you're new to my SQL, I would really recommend going with uh, SQL Pro. Uh, there's also one that's online that I'm failing to remember. It's like Peach no, I don't know. I'll find it and I'll put it in the show notes for sure. But there's like a web one too that you can download and run. Uh, but either way, those will give you like, you can like look through the list of options for all this stuff. So it doesn't have to be all that confusing. Um, so we, yeah, we'll just have this database or a table called people with an integer for ID and a name, which is variable character. Uh, and then we'll just go ahead and we'll close that out. Uh, so now if I do show tables, I should see this people one. And then lastly, we're just going to want to put some data in there. Um, ideally in the future, like if I do another MySQL happy video, I'll probably show us how to uh, create uh, records and insert and delete from the table with the web, uh, which will be really nice. But for now, I'm just going to do it manually. Um, so I'll do something like insert into, and then the table name is people. Uh, and then the values that we want to put in are like, let's just do like uh, ID of one and name of John or something like that. I think that's right. Uh, we'll see. Okay. So now if I um, do a select all from people, I should just see this ID of one and the name of John. Awesome. Okay. So now we've got a table made. We have credentials that to access it and we've got some data in there. So I'm going to close out using uh, control D and we're back into our app now. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open index.js again, which is our basic happy route. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hop over here to this uh, MySQL package and we're going to take a little look at how it works. So they have this really nice introduction here and it's basically kind of kind of two steps, maybe four steps. Uh, the, f the first step is just doing our basic require statement, which we know how to do, and then setting up that connection, like the credentials essentially. So this is going to be localhost, root, empty, and then happy for me. Uh, and then this other part down here is uh, establishing the connection, much like we do with happy. Uh, running a query and doing something with the results and then ending the connection. And I think in a later video, I'll talk about uh, where to establish and end the connection and things like that as far as being efficient. Today, let's just focus on getting something nice working. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab these top two. And I'm going to go into my app here. 
and I'm just going to paste them in. Uh, so we've got, you know, like our happy app here, and then we've got our MySQL app right below it. And then we've got this connection here. Like I said, localhost is great. For here, we want root. For here, we want nothing. And for here, we want happy. So now we've got our credentials in there. And then right here where we do server connection for happy, uh, let's also go ahead and grab the MySQL connection. And we can probably name these a little bit better, but connection connect is fine for now. Uh, so we've got that connected. And now the like kind of last thing we want is this like connection query thing. So we're gonna come into our handler uh, and we're just going to paste that in now. And this is where it starts getting, you know, a little bit, oops, <laughs> a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to move this into place, maybe make it a little bit smaller so it all fits on one line. I'm going to get rid of this reply, it is working, and instead I'm going to reply, uh, the solution is, let's take a look at this for a second. It's really not that complicated. Instead of actually hitting a table, like some real data that they've created, you can also do this, this kind of statement uh, anywhere in MySQL, and it'll return, you know, so it'll select one plus one as solution. So if I go back in, let's do like this, uh, and I'll cd just back into that folder, and we do MySQL U root again. So we're just in our MySQL terminal, and then we use Happy, the database. And then I just run this like arbitrary select one plus one as solution or something like that. Uh, we'll get back uh, a row named solution with the value two inside of it. So like this code might look a little confusing, but really it's just a generic example that they put in their website because no matter what your table structure looks like, something like this will always work. So it's just basically saying like return a thing called solution with the value two in it. Um, and then it's nice for them because you can just copy paste this example and it should work. So let's check again and see if we've broken anything so far. It looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna save that file and run node on it. It loads and then I go back here and refresh. And I don't see a solution. Uh, it should say two. Let's go back and take a look. All right, so I guess one thing we could do real fast is we can just console log rows zero. See if we're getting any of the right data in there. So we'll note it again, and then we'll refresh this thing. We do see it. Uh, a row with solution as the key, an object with solution as the key, and two as the value. Uh, so let's go back here again, take a look. All right, so we've got row zero. What happens if we do dot solution here? Oh, I see what's going on actually. Okay, so yeah, if we do this, this should work, and we we'll, should see two. Um, so we see two here. Uh, so what's going on here is uh, it's syntax that will work with console log, uh, this comma here. So with console log takes as many arguments as you want. So you can pass in a string, comma, another string, but reply won't work that way. So what we're gonna need to do is replace that and like just do string concatenation. That's how reply will work. So uh, instead of replying two different things, we can concatenate a string and return that. So I'm pretty sure that should get us all set and working. Refresh, there we go. Okay, great. So we got the solution is two. So this is just proving that we are establishing a database connection, uh, but we haven't used our database yet. So the last step is to go back into the code here, and we're gonna do something like, instead of select uh, one plus one is two, we'll do select star from people, and that should give us our person back. Um, and so then if we go ahead and do, you know, name or something like that, uh, we should be able to get that one person and grab the name out, which is John, and show that. Uh, so let me change this to the name is, and I'll save that, run note on it again, and we'll hit it. Cool, the name is John. Uh, so I hope that didn't move too quickly. I guess the important things are, you know, like one, uh, installing MySQL, making sure that's up and running. If you have any questions about anything in particular, feel free to leave a comment and I'll, uh, I'll either help you in the comments or I'll make a video about it if I think it's something a lot of people might get stuck on. Um, so yeah, installing MySQL uh, through Homebrew or whatever package manager you have is good. And then, um, you know, going ahead and making sure that you install both Happy and the MySQL uh, node module. And then from there, just making a little something like this. 
uh, require the both of them, set up your connection with your user and password, uh, you know, do the preliminary stuff like making all the connections, which is good to do. And then right here in your route, you can go ahead and put this connection query, uh, hit the database, get anything you want out of there, and send it back with the reply. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty straightforward, not much more code than our first happy example, uh, but here you have full database functionality. And uh, from here, you can feel free to start playing around, you know, make a bunch of tables, put some useful data in there. You know, you could do like a, something much more complicated, like you could, you know, like grab all the people, like let's say you put 10 in there and show all their usernames. Uh, so if you had more than one row, right, you could do like a for each through the rows and then for each one build up a string and then reply it. All sorts of fun stuff you can do from here. Uh, but this is the real basic, like getting the connection set up. Uh, again, like this was a user submitted request. Please feel free to leave anything you want to see in the comments uh, and I'll do my best to get those up as quickly as I can. Thanks.